Happy Thirsty Thursday, everyone. It is one week until Christmas Eve, and we're gonna have a little fun tonight. Yes, we're gonna shake it up. We had snow here the past 24 hours, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna make a blizzard cocktail, and I'm gonna make it pretty and white. And then I looked at my Instagram, and every other drink is white and frosty, and so I thought, we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna pretend it's nice and warm and summer. And so I wish you all a Mele Kaliki Maka. <laughs> so we're gonna start with a Mele Kaliki Maka Mai Tai, um, immortalized by Bing Crosby and the Andrew sisters in 1950. But the Mai Tai drink, hi Rob, the Mai Tai drink um, became famous in 1944 from Trader Vic. So the first cocktail I'm going to be doing the first way is with a Trader, it's a tr based on a Trader Joe's Mai Tai. I did this a while back in the summer. Um, I'll post what day it was because that was the exact you know, recipe. This one's a little bit more switched up for the holiday times. Okay, so we're gonna st start with a Martinique rum. So that's a R-H-U-M, it's not a misprint. It's a rum from Martinique, and it is really great for a traditional Mai Tai. So start with that. Oh, and that's another thing. A lot of Mai Tais, either way I'm doing it, um, do half and half, one ounce, you know, white light rum and one ounce dark rum as a floater. The Trader Vic's Mai Tai never had that, so I'm not gonna do that either. I'm gonna start with a um, cocktail shaker of the white Martinique rum, and we'll do two ounces of that. And I just, of course I realized we forgot the ice. Only thing I didn't prepare, do you need here? All right, so we're gonna put our ice in there. There we go. And um, so two ounces of the Martinique rum, and then I just happen to have the Mandarin Napoleon, it's an orange liqueur, so it has a little cognac or brandy in it. You can use a triple sac, or you can use a beautiful Grand Marnier, um, and that is going to be one ounce of that. There we go. And now the Trader Joe's calls for Orgeat, O-R-G-E-A-T, which is basically just a homemade almond simple syrup. I'm not going to the bother of making that, we're not gonna be drinking a ton of these unless we decide to whip it up, mix it up on Christmas Eve and make Mai Tais. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to use Almond Simple Syrup by Trani. You can also just take some good almond extract if you have it and take one teaspoon and add it into your simple syrup after it's cooked and let it sit. You could just even mix it up. If you have regular simple syrup in your refrigerator, just take a tablespoon of that and mix it up with that. Or just simply drop a couple of dashes of almond extract in your glass. Nobody will know. But I happen to have the almond, so I'm going to use it. Let me just check my recipe. So that's a half an ounce of that. All right. Now this is just serving one. It's kind of hard to mix these. Uh, you want them really, really fresh. So mix them per drink. Okay, so we've got our two ounces of white rum, our one ounce of orange curacao or half ounce of orgiat and now fresh lime have to have fresh lime i won't even use my lime syrup this drink is the original is basically just the the martinique rum the fresh lime and the orgiat so i mean of course if you want to use the the lime juice you could but the bottled lime juice i mean i'm going to use the fresh because i think it's best in this cocktail some cocktails we can fudge and use the bottled stuff. Others, mm. now if you were doing this in the summer and you wanted to make a little tree, you, well this happens to be cut off because I used it for something else, but um, you can just put your um, piece of mint coming out of that and that's how the original was served. I'm not gonna do that because I wanna make it Christmassy. All right, um, so that's it. So now we have uh, one ounce of fresh lime juice and now you're gonna shake. Minimum 15 seconds for this one. You want it icy, icy, icy cold. 
Okay, make a few more eggs. We're going to strain it. Hi, Paul Delabella. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sally. Okay. Now, how do we make a Christmassy? This is how. So, in the original, they use a rock candy simple syrup, and I left that off the recipe because I actually found green rock candy. I have other colors for other drinks, but since I'm making this, so it would have been one half ounce of rock candy simple syrup, which is instead of simple syrup being one to one, one to ratio, one part sugar to one part water, you would do two parts sugar to one part water and it would be really thick and you know, you'd pour it out and it'd look like gluck. Um, so instead, since it's Christmas, we're gonna go right ahead and use our rock candy and we're just gonna swirl it with that. That's another reason I didn't wanna use the almond simple syrup because you're really doing simple syrup, simple syrup, too much. And now we are gonna take our green maraschino, maraschino cherries, which are not, as, they don't taste the same as the red, they actually are flavored with almond. So this is a perfect segue into this cocktail. So you got a lot going on here, but shouldn't you have a lot going on? It's Christmas, all right? So Meli Kaliki Maka Mai Tai, that's what I say. I'm gonna put that in there for now. I'm gonna mix it up. Now, of course, if you wanna do a green sugar rim, that's on you, go right ahead. Mmm, ooh, it's delicious. It's sweet and doesn't really go with the Christmas cookie, but boy, would that be a fun addition to a holiday party. I love it. Okay. So, once again, that's our Melakaliki Maka Mai Tai. And it's fun, and you could do one or the other. If you don't want to go to the trouble of the rock candy, just do the do this. You could, of course, also just do a regular maraschino cherry with the lime, and um, just add a half an ounce of simple syrup if you're not doing the rock candy. But this is gonna go and dissolve. It'll make the, the drink even greener. Who else am I seeing tonight? Hi, Doreen, how are you? Long time no talk. And Chris and Barb's sake. All right, there you go. I love it. And of course, I'm gonna use these for another recipe. That's why I bought them and I'll use them for Christmas Eve. All right, and now let's get to it. I'm gonna rinse out my shaker. Yes, you would think I would just have a shaker ready, but I don't, okay? I went upstairs. I went upstairs to my attic to get out my summer stuff so I can find my palm tree little umbrellas. <laughs> so that's why I'm not ready, okay? So it's summer in this house tonight. And if you wanna have some summer fun, these were painted by my niece, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Um, hope you gathered some shells over the summer, make them pretty. You have smaller ones, you can make them into ornaments, but we just like putting them around the house as decoration. And she wrote joy to the beaches. And I just love them. And every time I pull them out, they remind me of her. So it's kind of like an ornament that sits on your table. All right, let me get going. Now we're going to do a Melakaliki Maka. Melakaliki Maka is the Hawaiian way that we're mixing up our drinks today. So now I'm gonna start. Oh, here I go again, I'm gonna digress. For this one, I'm gonna use grenadine. Somebody had posted on one of the band websites where I'm from about this bar up on City Line that used to serve the underage tiki drinks to everybody. And I had it in my head and it was of course just grenadine and orange juice and crap. So I'm trying to elevate this a little bit and um, this is also good if you were gonna make any kind of Christmas shots or Christmas fun drinks with red and green and you want them layered. The grenadine will actually float to the bottom. I know this from trying to make 4th of July drinks and not being able to float anything. So Paradise East, yes, Robin, that was the name of the restaurant. Um, so you can take real pomegranate juice, you could take real pomegranate seeds. The easiest way is to buy palm 
and you'll use it for other cocktails. You can make a pretty poinsettia, which is vodka, champagne, and palm juice. You can make a pretty Rudolph. I'll get to that later. Lots of things. You, it won't, it'll go, it'll get used. Don't worry about it. Pretty Christmas Cosmo. So all I did is I took a half a cup of sugar. No, I didn't even take that much. I did a quarter cup of sugar and a quarter cup of palm juice and a quarter cup of water just to cut it a bit because I didn't want it to be too dark as that. And I put it in the pan and I brought it to a boil. And the one thing you're supposed to do if you really wanna make perfect homemade grenadine is you're supposed to put orange water or rose flowered water in at the end after it's set. I used to have actually rose water, but I didn't realize you had to put it in the fridge, so I had to throw it away. I looked up another way is, and all you have to do is take orange peels. Now, I just happened to take orange peels today because it was a snow day and I bottled and I did all of my other liquor recipes. I took my orange peel from my homemade orange cello, which had to be strained out today, and I put it in the oven while my dinner was baking, and I dried it out, and then I used two or three of these and put this in with the pomegranate juice and the sugar and the water. So you just got the essence of orange, and let me tell you, I tasted this. It's the best grenadine I ever made. I've only made two, so that's not saying too much, but I'm telling you, it's beautiful. You could see you don't want a lot of it. You don't need a lot of it. Um, it keeps for about a month, but you just want to make enough for Christmas. So get a little palm. It calls, technically you're supposed to use unsweetened. That stuff's real, it's much more expensive to get the unsweetened because it's just pure essence of the juice. You're better off buying a pomegranate and just doing it yourself because then you'd have the seeds for garnish. Um, extra. So again, you just boil one to one to one, sugar, palm juice, water, you boil it down. I added some orange peel, you don't have to. Let it cool for 30 minutes and I wound up with this. So let's get going. Okay, let me just get more ice. I know, why didn't I just fill up my pitcher? I know, I know. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, because I don't wanna forget, I'm gonna take some of my grenadine, I already poured it out because I know how much I want, half an ounce, and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of my glass. All right, it will stay on the bottom. Now, you can certainly pour it in over the end and you'll have that pretty little cascade. I don't really wanna do this because I kinda want it to look a little cleaner than that. So into my glass filled shaker of ice, I'm going to put, and this one we're just using a plain white rum, by all means, if you want to do one ounce of dark or one ounce of spice and the white, go ahead. I don't have any spiced or dark rum. I used it for my homemade Kahlua last week. So I'm just going to use two ounces of plain. Now there's lots of other ways we can zhuzh up this cocktail. You can go the banana orange juice and have it really tropical. I happen to have banana rum. I don't want banana in a winter drink. That's just me. You can do blackberry. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a half an ounce of the blackberry because I'm not sure how that would taste. I usually don't add it, but it's pretty. So it's gonna give the drink even more of a tequila sunset look than just bright orange, which I think is cool for the winter. All right, so that was just a half ounce of brandy, but of course you can use one. Let's see, two ounces of light rum, half ounce of the blackberry, one and a half ounce of orange juice. Now, we can, if we want, we can make our fresh, because that would probably be the best, and I already have it cut. See, hi Regina, hi Nicole, how are you Nicole? Hi, you? hi Regina, who got a puppy lately? I think Regina, you got a puppy this year. Somebody else just got a puppy today. Oh, Michelle Hart, it's adorable. Puppy, Christmas time for puppies, right? All right. Mm. Just wanna get all the orange juice in. Now, if you're using fresh orange juice, of course you could do one and a half. If you're doing not so fresh, no pulp orange juice, you can go ahead and put in as much as you really want. And, um, you know, to make it weaker. Um, all right, and then just some lime. So I'm just gonna take some lime and squeeze it in there. You don't have to add the lime. I just like lime in all of my citrus drinks. 
you like a lemon, put some lemon in. Mix it up, it's your drink. Now, someone asked about the maraschino cherry the other day. If you don't wanna to go to the trouble of making the homemade grenadine, you can use, I know I have them somewhere, you can use maraschino juice from here. It won't, it won't add the flavor like you really want. Um, it'll just add more sugar, but that's okay. If you just want it for the color, go ahead. All right, here we go again. Aw, Regina, your doll, thank you. There we go. All right, I hope this one's good. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Now, I may just want it a little bigger, and since I didn't have my ice at the ready, I'm just gonna add a little ice from the container. There's nothing in there, there's no pulp. All right, as if that wasn't pretty enough. Now, of course, we can take our little, I like to use the skewers. We can take some cherries. Sometimes it's nice to let them out and sit out before. All right, you can take a cherry, take this, and then you can keep going. Then you can take a lime and make a flower, fold it twice. Woo! Now you can take another orange. And you can take, I'm gonna steal one of these green ones really quick. Now that is fun. It almost looks like tacos <laughs> or Christmas lights. Cha-cha. All right, and then if you really want to go far out, knock yourself out and put a palm tree, melakalikimaka, and of course, have some fun straws. Yes, these are plastic, but we cut them up before we throw them away. Don't yell at me, I had them before. It was a law in Mammoth Beach. We can't have plastic straws out on the beach. Woo-hoo! You'll be singing that tune all night. Oh, it's delicious. I know I say that, but the grenadine at the bottom, the homemade grenadine, it is so freaking simple and it is so good. And even if you don't have orange peels that were soaked in vodka and dried out, just take some fresh orange peel, probably like two or three, about that size, two inches, and add it to your um, pomegranate simple syrup. It will make the difference. Please don't buy the store-bought crappy grenadine because it has red and blue number whatever dye. It has sodium benzoate, which is really bad for you. And of course the killer is the high fructose corn syrup. Um, you can see that was so quick to make. Mm. Well, I didn't make in front of you, but it's literally five minutes worth of work and then it sits for 30 minutes. So cheers, have a Hawaiian style Christmas night. Maybe not Christmas Eve, but maybe you do it some other night. All right, so cheers and have a great evening in this snow, and I am going to go. I have to eat now. So take care, everyone.